Right guys, this is a program called Anti-Micro. This is used for, this is used for um, converting keyboard controls to use on gamepad. I think it's easier than joystick keys. So first of all, start your controller up. Then start Anti-Micro. Right, what we're going to do, we're going to start from fresh. So we're going to go to, right, one new. So remove that one for now. Right, we're going to start on new. So, as long as your controller's on, if you push a button on your controller, you should see it highlighting. So this is your left analog stick, and this is your right, and these are your R3 and L3 ones. So then you have your D-pad, and you have all your buttons on your joypad, including triggers. So as long as it's all showing up. That means your controller's working. So this is for initial D. These are the buttons on initial D. For some reason you got X and break because whoever tried to mod it didn't I think you're supposed to get S but you got X instead. So for instance accelerate you can have it on any button but obviously most people have it on their trigger so you can see it flash in there so all you have to do is click on that one and here it says there's nothing here so you go to no key then either you can push W with your mouse or just push W on the keyboard now you can see it's here for accelerate so then we have break, which is X. Yep, weird, I know. Which I'm, I'm going to put on the left trigger. So you just click on it. You either go to no key and push X, or push it on your keyboard. And then close. So now you have your triggers done. Next we have A is left. So obviously you want it on your stick left one so I'm just going to push A on the keyboard done now you want right so click on that one then it's D then we've got coin coin I normally have on the select button so that's the back one here just click on that one and click on number seven start I have on your normal start on your controller and start is eight and make sure you don't use the number ones unless you want to use the number ones so that's that done and test menu is num seven so for test menu, I normally have it on the D-pad. So I'm gonna have that as seven. Then you got eight as services. So when you get that, when you go into the test menu, then you can use the service button, which I will have on here, which is num eight. And I got that one wrong. It's supposed to be num seven. There you go. Then extra graphics menu. I'm going to have here on my D-pad. This is num two. No, it's just two actually. And then extra menu is three. So you just click on that one. So once you've got all your, you know, your keys 
well, in a lot of the games there'll be a lot more you can just do you know whichever ones you want on you know for these I'm not normally I'm not using but and then after that all you've got to do is go save as then you can just put in anything you want this will be arcade stage two and all you've got to do is save and it will automatically load the last one that you've got there so we'll shut it down load it up and you've got initial D arcade stage 2 or you can just go load and you can load a different one so you can have all your different games compiled into one and that's what you got to do guys it's pretty simple and like I say I think it's better than Joyce Keys myself I haven't, haven't never had any issues with it I've had one one game where it didn't work and I just had to right click properties compatibility then run this program as administrator I don't tend to use it unless I really have to and that's it that's all you, all you need to set up for keys on your gamepad cheers